welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your girl V from Drinking Tea with V, and you are here now at the best place to be. A hey, on a Sunday, on a fun day, any day, have it your way, honey. Look at this at any day, on any day that ends with a Y, because drinking tea with V is basically your Sunday slumber party with a business slash entrepreneurial flair, and your place to be for brain entertainment. Because I like to use my brains, I like to have fun, so marry the two, smush it together, and you get brain entertainment. All right, so today we're going to keep it another short, sweet, spicy one. I'm going to start off by telling you what is in my cup. I was always grabbing for it already, but I'm starting off by telling you what's in my cup. Then we're going to get into our moment of gratitude. Before I used to do like tea and coffee, the tea and coffee segments, you know, things that get me, um, the mellow me out, that would be the tea and the coffee would be like something makes me get hype, something makes me get excited. Makes me want a body, a a a a a. So should I come back for the tea and coffee, or should I just keep it at a gratitude moment? But anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think. Should I come back with it? Come back with that segment, or just stick to gratitude. Keep it simple. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Keep it simple. Um. Yes. After that, we're gonna go straight on into. Of what the topic is for today and um, today's topic is a spicy I like a little bit of spice in my life <laughs> and today is gonna be the current cuffing season cautions a whole bunch of KKKs but yeah it's the cuffing season caution yeah cuffing season cautions because guess what we live in a pandemic and um, we need to talk about this we need to talk about it it's not your regular cuffing season out here in these streets so yes, let's start off with what is in my cup. And today, as you can see, ginger me ninja, eh, 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 ginger me ninja. So the flavor of the day, the flavor of the day for today is ginger. I like a little spice in my life, like I said before. So having ginger is super yummy. I love the flavor. I love what it does for me. And also like digestion, you know, ease the whole bloating situation in case you have that issue. Um, but it also, what it also does is boost your immune system. So do some of that. You squeeze a little lime in here too, child. Life. So this is one of my favorite teas for the season. Mm. So good. I had a couple already. And I also mix it with something else. So that's why it looks a little bit darker than normal. <laughs> But that's okay. So the flavor of today is ginger. Fresh ginger. Gotta love it. And as for my moment of gratitude, y'all. Um, what am I grateful for? I actually have it on. Can you tell? I love a good oversized sweater around these times. And so this is the sweater. This is me. <laughs> So I, I like to be toasty. This is what I like to get wrapped up in. If it's not a blanket, if I need to be more portable, then I get me a nice oversized sweater with pretty colors. Don't you love the colors? I love the colors. Um, <clears throat> Where's my voice going? Talk too much. Oh. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So that is what I'm grateful for. Oversized sweaters that keep me nice and toasty. And so... I I can't get enough of them. I think I need to get a couple more, but that is just a want. It's not a need. So, eh, 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 eh. But going straight on into the topic of the week, because I cannot wait, and I show you can't wait either, because you like cuffing season. What boo? Listen, before before we get into that, right? Share it with all the fabulous people that you know, the fan tablets people that you know, because. I think if you are a fantabulous, you probably know fantabulous people. So we need to we need to gather around over here in these streets. You know, we need to gather around and form a nice community, especially in these times where maybe separated from one another. But it doesn't have you don't have to be alone. We can come together and form a good community of drinking tea with viewers. Get your tea. Get tea get your blanket get your notebooks out writing down all these tips these tricks these these gems boo these gems okay mm. so yes like i said before 
the topic of this week is the current cuffing season cautions. So let's get straight on into it. This is my notes that I'm looking down at, so do not be alarmed. If you see me looking anywhere else, then here, 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 the camera is not here. It's... Anyways, <laughs> I'm a little bit, a little bit, it's, it's the geek in me, I'm sorry. And I'm also not sorry, why am I saying I'm sorry if not sorry? But anyways, so cuffing season, let's get into, let's get into definitions first, right? Let's get into definitions. So what is actually cuffing season? Because it's like, Cuffing season lines up with um, hibernation, which starts from the beginning of October and can last anywhere up to like February, March. It depends on how the whole Valentine's Day situation go, you know, because usually that's also in a part of it. It's a festive season. It's all cozy. Things get cold. People want to cuddle up. So that's why they call it cuffing season. You know, when it comes to bed, you man. I'm yours. Let's do this. And for everybody, that could be different. It could actually be like a dating, dating situation, or it could be more like a, let's get through these cold times together, and I need another warm body. So um, listen, I'm not advocating anything. Or I'm just, I'm just saying, you know what, what, what cuffing season is. You do you, boo. I'ma do me. You do you. But since this is real rough, we 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 getting into real raw and relevant stuff. We gonna, we gonna talk about this. We gonna talk about this. So yes. Uh, le, 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 le. Yeah. But yeah. So know what cuffing season is for you. Know what you wanna do. If you just need if it's actually it's actually more of a season where people get into more gratefulness, it's cozy, it's nice, we're getting into Christmas, you know, all the season of love, sharing, giving, so it's all like, ooh, super heartwarming, so I can see how that can help people to like mush together a lot easier, but this happens all year round, people, this happens all year round, but that's, that's, that's getting a little too far into the situation, but let's, let's start with the first point, right, the first point of caution for the current cuffing season during a corona okay the rony rounds boo number one please 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 don't go texting your ex if you cannot find a cuff buddy like don't 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 do it why why mm, boo don't go texting your ex or let me leave it at that don't go texting your ex because your exes are exes for a reason, and so it's not intended to be a messy, messy situation. For some people, they consider it to be an easy thing. You know, the person already knows you. They know what you like. So it's like, eh, I just, I just need a warm body, you know. We need to make this too serious. We need to, eh, nah. So yes, let me, let me text the ex and be like, Hey, bigot. Hey, boo. What you saying? Are you dating anyone? No, don't, don't. Mm -mm. Are you seeing anybody? Are you dating? Any don't, mm, don't do it. Don't, don't. Mm -mm. No, no. Use this time to get to know other people, you know? <laughs> Broaden your horizons. Broaden your horizons. Let's, let's do that, right? Okay, moving on into numero dos which is balance your time. Yes, boo, balance your time because you don't want to have your friends and family have, leave them there in the cold, basically. Pun intended. Leave them out there in the cold. You all of a sudden find your cuff buddy and it's like, oh yeah, I don't know nobody anymore. All I want to be with this person and all I want to do is be with this person and then you forget everybody else around you. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. And um, numero tres, have fun, have fun. Don't take yourselves too seriously because this is also a good time to just, you know, things are cold, things are dreary. It's like you need something to lift your spirits a bit. So if you're going to do this, do this the right way. Have fun. Make it an enjoyable experience no matter what the situation may be. So yes, that was number three. Now, scurrying on to number four, 
after five, I don't know, I don't think I have any more fingers to really get on with this. But I would have to then do, like, put the, my notes down and be like, I look like if I'm Bloods and Crips over here. But anyways, so number four, which is super, super handy, is find someone who shares your taste in movies or else Netflix dates can be a drag. Oh my goodness. I mean, if you go cuddle up and watch movies and all that kind of stuff anyways, since outside is not exactly open, open, um, then at least have the same taste in movies or similar taste in movies because um, otherwise you can be sitting down there like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> for that's like a 90 that's like a 90 to 120 minutes of your life you're not getting back so think, think about these things think about these things have it on your application form and be like uh so uh, do you like this type of movie uh what is your favorite genres what genres is a no-no for you so that, yeah yeah put it on your application form and number five, number five is mix it up. You know, switch up deep conversations with, you know, flirty and fl- fun conversations. It don't have to be all doom and gloom. So again, have fun, mix it up, all the things. Number six. This is, I, I guess y'all like pronouns because last week's video, right, with the 10 tips was, was a thing. So... This was coming up behind it anyway, so I figured, oh, let's let's stick let's stick to the numbers. So number six is to stay hydrated. You see where I'm going? Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see where I am going with this? Stay hydrated, boo, because guess what? You know, if you're gonna do the cuffing season thing, you know, with your cuff buddy, cut cuffing can lead to well, cuffing can lead to Yes, cuffing can lead to cuddling, which can also lead to kissing. So you won't keep the lips, you won't keep the lips, you know, like. <laughs> so you want to you want to keep the lips really hydrated. Besides, stay hydrated anyways, because with heating on and everything, it's a thing for the season. You can dry out really easily. So that's also not cute. Not cute for you, not cute for the other person. Stay hydrated anyway, because what we do over here is, over here if I drink it too, baby. We drink water and we mind our business and we grow and we glow. That's where we get the glowing from. Stay on your water game. And number seven. I had to look at my fingers there. Number seven. Number seven of these quarantine, COVID, cuffing season, cautions. <laughs> Can I find any more things that sounds like a CK song? I don't know. But anyways... Yes, number seven is, boo, is a pandemic out here in these streets, okay? So that was not necessarily the handiest moment to be hopping, but if you're going to do that anyways, you know, be open about it, share it, because your other potential cuff partners should be able to make an informed decision. Because, yeah. You never know what the what the consequences will be. You don't know what somebody's job is. You don't know what like who they're in contact with. If they have to take care of uh, somebody who is sick or has an auto- autoimmune disease that is, you know, really treacherous. You don't. You do not know. So be very cognizant and of the situation, and be open and share what the situation is. So yes. Be responsible in the pandemic. Number eight. Number eight is to be responsible. <laughs> it's to be responsible, you know. Um, I'm, a, I'm, ta- I'm talking about a different level of responsibility right now. Because guess what? We have seen since February, March, there have been tons of of corona babies out here in these streets so yes i'm not out here advocating casual sex but you're grown you're gonna do whatever you want to do because you know 
the 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 the, the kissing might lead to cu- the cuddling might lead to kissing the kissing might lead to some kind of cooperation or something like that so d- be responsible be responsible unless you also want another coroni room baby be responsible out here in these streets wrap it up okay and so we're coming down to the last bits i'm telling you this is short sweet bangers just get it in get it out okay that's wow pun intended i guess again i say something sometimes and i'll be like after i say it it's like girl that was a that was a that was a setup that was that was a setup right there for you so anyways going on into number that was eight we <laughs> we going into i could never do that nine nine this way because this way is all, like it's all, <laughs> but yes number number nine is to be honest with each other you know keep checking in to manage expectations because honey boo boo you can wrap it up but there's no condoms for your heart okay so yeah you don't want things to get messy so just just be open and honest and check in on a regular basis because it's like a couple of months it's like uh, october november well we're already in november so let's start counting from november december january february maybe march four or five months Think things could happen, you know, all the cuddling. It has, listen, y'all, this, you have to be responsible. Know that you're playing with fire, okay? Know that you're playing with a little bit of fire. Because guess what? If you're going to do, like, the whole cuddle buddy situation for the cuffing season, know that there are physiological effects that are going to happen. Because when you're cuddling people, it's a natural response within your body for your body to to release this feel-good hormone, you know, those oxytocin, all of those dopamines, all that feel-good stuff. So then with all that feel-good stuff physiologically, it can then, you know, mess with your mind and with, you know, you'd be like, oh no, I'm, I just want somebody, you know, to cuddle with, whatever, it ain't that deep, boo, boo, boo. And then at the end of it, you're like, but I want you to stay. And then it's the, another person is like, but I thought we said that um, this was not the situation. So, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, there are no condoms for your heart, so keep checking in with each other. And um, that is very, very much important. Anyways, coming down to number 10, the last one for today. And that is basically dispelling the whole myth of this whole show. <laughs> That is the spelling. It's listen. It is the spelling. This whole show. I don't know why I did it for it to begin with, but number ten is basically that cuffing season is a myth. Cuffing season is a myth. Of course, you have the whole hibernation thing. People want to get more warm and toasty. You know all the whole um, lovey dovey holidays, caring, sharing, warm hearted situation going on. Um, but guess what? Guess what? Dating happens all year long. People have whatever kind of situationships that they want to have all year long. This is just a season that is very conducive to, um, to that kind of getting closer to each other, I suppose. But, um, yeah. It's a myth and date responsibly regardless okay because these are real people this is these are real people with real feelings again from number nine there are no condoms for your heart so please be responsible out here in these streets also with people's hearts and don't be fooled by oh cuffing season and then la 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 some people actually have that you know you know it have there's some people that around this time because of the season and the holidays and so forth it's like a yearly thing where they get like certain triggers and it's like yeah i won't be single all year round but like around this time i want somebody to actually feel like i'm i'm loved and cared for so then it's like oh yeah then then the trigger is like maybe i should actually consider this and then after that when life goes on and then after like the i would consider the last holiday to be valentine day that's my that's my that, that's my second birthday um which is my conception date 
If you don't know, now you know. And that's where my name is derived from, that holiday. Because I was born about nine months later. Because I'm a love child. Ay, ay. I'm a love child. I mean, y'all love childs too, but kind of special in that way. I would suggest, for just for this whole cuffing season thing, just go and ask your parents, you know, like, do you know, like, which day that I was actually conceived? Just have those conversations with your parents. You, you're grown enough to have them conversations now, so you could, you could get to know a lot of really cool things <laughs> about your parents. You can get, get to know a lot of cool things about your parents. So, I, I challenge you, Ask your parents, ask your parents as like, okay, this is a cuffing season challenge. Should I put like hashtag cuffing season challenge? Ask your parents what, if they can remember um, what your conception date is. I think we should do that. We should, in, in the whole thing of having fun, let's do that. Contact your parents and be like, ma, pa, you know, I gotta ask you a question. So, you know, you know I'm here and everything, right? But um, how did how did this go down? Do you remember the exact date and time and everything? Not not spilling too much of the beans because this is still your parents. You still, you don't want to be like, okay, this is the position that you were being conceived in, or go down the list of. But um, yeah, that should be fun. You could get to know a lot more about yourself or a different side of yourself. So yes. That is the end of all of the um, quarantine cuffing season cautions um, or current cuffing season cautions. Let's see what I call this episode. But anyways, this is this. These are the ten. These are the ten cautions that I have for you. Uh, like I say, be responsible out here in these streets. Do you? I'ma do me. Be fab. Stay fit. And have a fantabulous week. Okay? Take care. Bye. Mwah. Deuces. Ciao.